Needing positivity all around Too many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down What's up, cousin? What the fuck is popping? What's popping then? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Because I miss y'all motherfucking asses. Honey. Virgo, for the month of December. Are you in this energy of not really giving a fuck about who feels, why they feel, or whatever the hell they got going on about what the fuck you doing? Are you in this space of not accepting anybody, any team, any person, any any nothing coming into your life that's not adding to it? If it's taken away, it got to get the fuck on, okay? Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey, well, hey, if this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out, honey. <laughs> I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell the cards say, okay? But I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right down now, okay, to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, uh, this is how we do it, Sha -da 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 -da. it's my shit, okay. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, you guys, the reading requests, the support, your loyalty. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you from the most humblest space ever. Okay. Also, if you need a personal reading, that information will be found below within the description. Y'all go look at that shit. I don't get all my get my technical skills up and running and be googling shit for nothing. Go look at that shit. All right. Also, if you're new to the family, hey, hey, we are a little dysfunctional over here. Okay. We don't find the fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We cuss. We be cuss. Okay. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Posy vibes only, positive type of teens, okay? This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Cross Watchers, the North Node, as well as uh, Mars in Vertigo, okay? For the month of December, you guys. Um, Again, this message ain't gonna resonate with every damn Virgo, okay? Don't try and make that motherfucker shoe fit if that motherfucker too big. Gas gonna fall, period, okay? So we ain't doing that. So without further ado, let's jump right the fuck to it. Vertigo, okay? While meditating on your energy, the intuitive messages that I got for you guys was extremely deep. I got uh, some of you all that is in this space of skepticism when it comes to, um, for some of you all, I am hearing like some of y'all beating y'all damn self up when it comes to religion, okay? I feel like for some of you all, there is this battle between your nodes, your south node, your south node, your north node. Some of you all could be heavily into astrology at this time, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of forgiveness. Now, this could have to do with another parent your parent but this element of harbor resentment being released okay i feel like there's been a lot of shadow work that was being done coming from coming into the month of november into december a lot of you all were really 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 addressing and acknowledging um i do feel this element of like traumatic traumatic experiences trauma bondings for some of you all you found a space of expressing that in a very practical way um but also a very vulnerable way i am picking up this energy of stepping into your destiny stepping into your collar and it's pissing some motherfuckers off virgo okay for some of you all i definitely picked up the energy of needing to make more time for family uh during the month of december like the focus being the home uh whether this is restructuring re remodeling okay i'm also picking up on reorganizing for some of you all this has to do with just completely just redoing the whole damn system okay for some of you all <sighs> there's also this element of the children okay some of you guys could be learning from your children this month I feel like this could be the smallest things especially when it comes to lessons around gratitude okay very a lot of emphasis on the throat chakra the um, the the crown chakra the ashna as well as the root chakra for some of you all you could be tuning these chakras up for some of you all this have to do with your down with downloads that you're receiving in that crown chakra area for some of you all you could be experiencing a lot of pressure headaches okay a lot of sinuses or like congest congestion type congestive issues okay i am picking up on a holistic way of going about healing with that some of you all, there's this energy of a pullback, a separation, okay? For some of you all, you could just up and decide to move states this month, all right? Or you're being guided to. Some of you all are getting in tune with your ancestry. I am hearing nomads. So some of you all, I feel like you've become very complacent. And it's causing a sense of procrastination in your life, but you can 
feel that sense of dissatisfaction. And in the month of December, your ass is doing something about it, okay? So the intuitive songs that I got for you guys for the month of December. The first one, oh, this is my ish, y'all. I ain't heard it in a long time, okay? Now bear with me because Big Mama may sound like somebody's motherfucking uh, Uncle Raspy around this bitch. But, you know, we gon' we gonna get the job done, alright? But the song is um, Dream by Cisco. I would have played it, but you two, gonna, they gonna tap into my shmoney. And I ain't got time for that. If I can't tell no other motherfucker sign that is Virgo, you my North Node. The fuck? You my fucking cousin. So y'all know when it comes to our money, we don't play like that. So I'm saying it to y'all, okay? Um, and specifically the part where um, he goes, It took a dream to tell me that I love you, baby. I couldn't see that you were always there for me. Remembering the times we shared together It came clear to me one night I am in love, okay? So for some of y'all, this is reconciliation energy. I feel like for some of y'all, you may uh, be discovering that you have a telepathic connection to someone, okay? Big emphasis on fire, okay? For some of you all, water. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also picking up on I told you so, okay? Some of y'all, this is a reconciliation and you don't trust no damn body. You don't trust this person. For some of you all, there could have been this level or a conversation uh, where it came out of your mouth that you forgive this person. But every time they do some shit that is triggering to you when it comes to this reconciliation, it could be the smallest things. And I am here and learned behavior, okay, around this. But it could be the smallest things. And for some of you all in the month of December, you guys could be blowing this completely out of proportion. This could be someone doing this to you. But it's making you question the whole damn, the whole damn, just throw the whole motherfucking reconciliation away. Okay? Um, but you guys, uh, the, the second song was Latoya Luckett, Torn. Um, a part of me wants to leave you alone. A part of me wants for you to come home. A part of me says I'm living a lie And I'm better off without you A part of me says to think it through A part of me says I'm over you A part of me says to say goodbye A part of me is asking why Okay, so for some of you all I am hearing reconciliation for closure It's not meant for you to stay there For some of you all this has to do with the soul contract from a previous life There's a lot of um a lot of <coughs> desires and a lot of manifestations through the subconscious space around the Akashic, okay? Let's jump into your intuitive messages so we can get into the crystal messages, the angel message, and the tarot, okay? So you guys got martyr complex, realizations, rapid manifestation, court dismissals, herbal magic, forgiveness, Mental conflict, self-imposed, sex capades, entity attachments, karmic blessings, astrology, alchemy, obsessed, holistic healer, prophetic dreams, <laughs> they don't drip like you, <laughs> a lot of doppelganger energy there Virgo, okay, escape strategy, fasting, synchronicity, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Akashic Records, Aries, Leo, Gratitude, Spiritual Inheritance, Gift, I'm sorry, Spiritual Enhancements, Unexpected Car Issues, Harassment, Discrimination, Procrastination, Surrender, Clear audience, psychic attacks, karmic blessings. Okay? Did I say pro prophetic dreams? Okay, yeah, yeah, prophetic dreams. Okay? Um, for some of you all, also, I'm also picking up on the energy of someone could have been like trying to cause stagnation in your life. For str strongly, for some of you all, I'm literally hearing mother. Someone has. Someone could have been making you feel guilty for wanting to progress. Really could have been calling you selfish. I'm getting strong Scorpio vibes from this. 
also strong Gemini vibes. You're being called to choose yourself. For some of you all, I feel like there's this there's this boost of energy to actually get something done. A lot of creative, a lot of creative expression. Some of you all could be getting into art. Some of you all could also be wanting to paint during this time or wanting to attend some type of event around painting. I don't know how things are when it comes to you being locked down. I'm in Texas, so we still able to move around how the hell we want to somewhat, okay? Um, for some of you all, I'm also picking up on an online business, an online herbal business. Um, I'm also picking up on teaching, okay? The teaching, um, the teaching or holistic teachings around herbs. Finding a way to monetize that. I'm also picking up on a lot of uh, screen time. For some of you all, there's a need for you to take a break from your, like, how much screen time? Screen time. Some of you all feel tricked, bamboozled. I feel like for those of you who are in an open relationship, some of y'all realizing that you fell in love or you got tricked in the bamboozle by a manipulative ass boy who, who throws temper tantrums, okay? Girl, take it high resonate. Steal the damn Fisher Price ass motherfucking magician, okay? Childish as fuck. Alright, so let's get into it. Spirit, what crystal will be helpful for my Virgos for the month of December? What crystal? My vertigo, my cousins, cousin. What the hell y'all cook? I just got hungry in y'all energy. Some y'all, some y'all up late night snacking on some shit. What crystal will be useful? My vertigo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross watcher. Whoa, it's mm -hmm. too many, but that one flipped. Okay. So we gonna take this one. We gonna take this one right here. All right. Purpurite. This is pretty. My favorite motherfucking color. Number 44. Destiny, honey. We are moving towards our fate, honey. What's fated for us? What God has for us, no man. Alright. The curse clear. Lineage. Alright. Purpurite. Extremely effective for psychic and aura protection. Purpurite grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you to break away from the self destructive or self limiting behavior, energizing the physical and the mental bodies. It overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. For a self understanding, old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors, may keep you mirrored in the past. Subtle energetics of ancient curses or ill willing could be affecting you. These may be personal or passed down through the family line. You may be open to mental influence from others. For divination use, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Be open to new ways to heal. Protect yourself appropriately, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. For healing insight, the past creates the present, but past can be repaired. But the past, uh, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. The frequency of this stone is earthy. Chakras for past life, soul star, stellar gateway, and base chakra. Good, um, best if used in the spring. And those with the soul path of being a lineage breaker, okay? So that's this element of forgiveness that I feel for some of you all. And I am picking up strong mat matriarchal. For some of you all, this could also have to do with the child's parent. But this person was meant to invoke or meant to trigger you to make you deal with your abandonment issues. Issues around rejection because you have a higher calling. For some of you all, you're meant to be in the public eye. For some of you all, you're stepping into that calling, okay? I definitely felt the energy of projection. Be careful not to share your ideas. Motherfuckers with no vision will always return to the same old shit that they was doing in the past. They have no they have they have no belief in self. I do feel the energy of a jealous spouse, an envious spouse. For some of you all, this could have to do with a parent, okay? So let's get into it. Give me an angel message. Give me an angel message. For my vertigos, please. Thank you. Angel message for the month of December for my Virgos. Angel message. Angel message for my Virgos. Angel message. Whoa. Okay. So, two fell out. I'm going to see what the Barbieri card up under here is. Okay, you guys got Mars. Okay, your passion. 
impulsivity, all right? I feel like something's worth fighting for, all right? For some of you all, this is a relationship. For others of you, this has to do with, I'm hearing spiritual warfare, okay? For some of you all, you could be undergoing spiritual warfare. I am picking up on some type of energy attachment, so, uh, like a crabs in a barrel ass, um, energy okay for some of you all this could have to do with someone wanting what you have or wanting to be you is what i'm hearing but for some of you all again they ain't got the motherfucking drip sis all right all three feel all right you guys got all as well archangel germio everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hitting blessings that you will soon understand for some of you i feel as if this feels more so like a thrusting into your path some of you all may have qu uh, recently quit your damn job and just decided to actually like start that online business actually started to actually begin to work on those damn workshops actually begin to plan those events i am hearing chef okay beautician your gifts okay being abundant using your gifts Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. For some of you all, I am hearing energy work. I'm hearing light worker, okay? I'm hearing shadow master. For some of you all, also, I'm also picking up the energy of like alchemy, alchemist, okay? This could actually have to do with exploring the different aspects of magic, teaching these, teaching these things to other people. There's a lot of guru energy that I'm getting from this too with Virgos, okay? Sage wisdom, esoteric knowledge, okay? Some of you all, you could be experiencing some paranormal activity. Some shit just fell in the closet and we ain't finna go find the fuck out. That's none of my business. That's between that <laughs> closet and spirit. You understand me? <laughs> shit, I ain't got time for that. I'm gonna sage you as soon as we get the fuck off this reading, okay? For some of you all, I am hearing ancestry, okay? Um, I am hearing presence. Some of you all, your children are mediums. Really listen to your children in the month of December. I feel like for some of you all, there is some type of clarity around some of the synchronicities that you've been seeing that's coming through your children. Children, especially if you have air sign or water sign children okay you also uh, some of you all have been feeling guilty about the time that you spend with your kids because you're working if you have an air sign or a fire sign child or an earth sign child if you're creating something include your children in what you're creating some of you all are literally the bearer of star seeds and I feel like you're being called into your purpose because it's like you're setting you're setting um or you're hitting you're, you're being called to hit reset on your lineage as far as around legacy wealth how you see wealth some of y'all y'all kids may be making try to make y'all feel guilty due to the lack thereof some of y'all may have adult children that's disrespectful as fuck and you may be putting your foot down and kicking their ass out Cutting that down, that that well, and that, that that damn water in that well is running real motherfucking dry. Boys gonna be real cactusy thirsty around this bitch until they learn how to put some respect on your name. Okay, you're being kind to some of y'all. Need to pull the plug on or or stand up for yourself when it comes to um, being used by your children or your family members. Okay, this feels like youthful energy. So a niece, a nephew. This could be someone who you date and who you feel like you got a third or fourth fucking child. Okay. Same shit. You need their social security number, bitch. I'm for run it at run it at tax time on some shit. Um, Indigo and Crystal Children, Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Okay. For some of you all, I am hearing some of y'all may be going through a heart chakra awakening. Like you may be in this energy of this real very feminine energy, very loving energy. Maybe wanting to give back. Some of you all may be attracting children, even random children. I feel like these children are sent to heal you. Keep hearing star child. Star child. Some of y'all all are also meant to um, experience the birth of a child. But this is like a reincarnate of a, like a parent of yours. Or a grandparent. Especially if that grandparent is water energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have lost this person in the last two to three years. Okay, This person wants you to know that they they're, they're, they're coming back for this child is waiting to come to you on it. They're waiting on the other side to show their face, honey. And they ready. Is your ass ready? Because if you ain't freaking freaking ready, your ass better get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get that cousin. What the fuck are you doing? Okay? So let's see what's going on. Yeah, the focus could be definitely around family for the month of December. For some of you all, you could be finding out that you're pregnant, honey. Congratulations, okay? For some of you all, I definitely feel like... Some of y'all need to let this goddamn Leo in. 
I feel like this Leo, for those of you who, who this is a reconciliation, this person is sorry, honey, okay? For some of you all, there is going to be some type of approval when it comes to a new home, okay? I feel like for some of you all, this could also be you moving into a bigger space or you being approved for a new home. I am hearing assistance is here, okay? For some of you all, you're moving away from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all could be choosing this damn Leo over this Cancer or this Cancer over this Leo. Some of you all are choosing to be fulfilled. You no longer stand in a situation because you have children with this individual. You've outgrown them spiritually, mentally, and financially. Some of you all are actually just being real with your damn self and accepting and acknowledging the fact that someone has some type of drinking issue or some type of addiction issue. That is just beyond you, baby. It's above me now. It's above you now, Virgo. This person needs help. I feel like for some of you all, this person could be a karmic blockage to your money as well. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone. Yeah, some of y'all is some y'all could be questioning where the fuck somebody's money going. This earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, someone secretly has addiction issues. I'm strongly picking up on some type of like pill. This could be like something like a, this feels like a downer, like Xanax. I'm hearing Xanax. For some of you all, this could also be cocaine. Some of y'all, you're dealing with a drug dealer like nigga, motherfucker. Where is, what are you selling? Where, you selling the money? The fuck? You not, you don't, you come home every day, you broke, you don't have a damn thing. For some of you all, you could be finding out that someone is paying, for, somebody had a sex addiction here. Some of y'all could be finding out that somebody has been paying for sex. Some of y'all could be finding out some, some, some very questionable shit on your damn account if you share an account with somebody. Or you could be questioning a lot of ATM withdrawals, okay? Be careful with opening up a joint account with somebody or going into a business with someone who you're dating. Especially if this is a new relationship. And I mean new within like the, 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 the last three months or the last month to like two or three years. For some of you all, you're getting ready to find out. This could be a tourist. Some of y'all getting ready to find out that you don't know this person like you think you know this person. I'm also picking up on the air signs. You're not even crazy. Somebody is trying to... Somebody is trying to keep somebody in this space of confusion. I feel like someone could be wanting to move on and work things out with you. But there's this air sign. This person is intentionally causing chaos somebody here is addicted to drama and i feel like you over this person i feel like you even tried to give this person the benefit of the doubt but this person tried you and then they had the right bitch today okay bitch you tried it all right for some of you all be weary of an air sign gemini libra Chris. i feel like someone could be, be even be taking like like slight jabs at you and shit i feel like someone you make someone feel less accomplished or incompetent <coughs> this could even be at work is what i'm seeing some of you all be careful with who you're talking to at work. I do feel like something small or some type of small, something small could turn into something big. Somebody's really trying to set your ass up. They're trying to make you get out of character and ruin your damn self. Whoever this is, this is an old air sign bitch or someone who's a cancer. Someone's envious of your, uh, your your people skills, okay? But some of you all, this could also be someone who, who, could, who could have been trying to run interference in your love life. For some of you all, someone is missing an Aries, Aquarius. Someone also wants to transform or transform a connection. Someone's bored in a damn connection. They don't know how to say the shit. But I feel like there's a burning fire in somebody's motherfucking belly. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone could be bringing you back to them. Like if you've been feeling ironic, like you've been just randomly thinking about somebody out of no damn where. Somebody is trying to bring you back. Someone using magic to bring you back. For some of you all, someone could be using magic to, to, to tear you and someone else apart. This could be someone who is a Gemini, an Aries, a Scorpio, Virgo in the building. I feel like for some of you all, be careful. Some of y'all have a single friend. And I feel like you've been friends with this person for quite some time. Like somebody could be, um, and I feel like for some of you all, you could be dreaming this. Whoever this is, some of y'all are going to be very surprised by who's doing this. Because for some of you all, you think that this is an enemy. But for some of y'all, this is a one of your friends who can't keep a motherfucking man or a woman here. Because I see this could be a man or a woman. I'm also picking up on some type of, um, some type of compromise around co-parenting here. Especially if someone could have ghosted you. Some of y'all could also be finding out that someone could have like ghosted a child. Or could be running away from some type of paternity test. 
Someone's feeling regretful for some of the decisions that they made around a child in the past, okay? Someone wants to heal the connection, but it's up to you. For some of y'all, have a family situation with you, like this person chooses you. I feel like if someone could, if someone told you that they were leaving a, leaving some type of family dynamic to be with you and this person ghosted you, I feel like this person is actually going to take a chance and reach out to you. Some of y'all, this could be, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on a lot of stalking and not talking. Somebody's stalking and not fucking talking here, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of, if you have children with an Aries individual, I feel like someone could have like, I feel like someone could have shut down and became real, very cold. Someone really, really had, someone was really focused on, like, someone here fears lack. There is a past life connection to, like, this person's security being um, gambled. This person, like, having to live in the space of using or manipulating other people to, like, have fun. And someone here is very manipulative, but they love your ass, Virgo. Or this could be how someone feels about you. Some of you all are moving completely away from a situation possibly or moving towards. Some of y'all moving away from a situation involving a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Some of you guys could have recently met an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like for some of you all this has to do with a new chapter, a new cycle. And people from your past are all returning at once. And I feel like for some of you all there is a need for you to make a head over heart decision with this. Because I do feel that people are playing on your compassion. Some of y'all you got a damn earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo to need a fucking place to stay. This person just cannot believe that you don't want their ass no more. For others of you, there's a Scorpio that is wanting your forgiveness. This person could have like humiliated you or like made you feel less than they could have rejected you. I feel like this person ain't got a taste of their own medicine. This fire sign, whoever this person is, this fire or this air sign, somebody is using magic to call your ass back, okay? I'm also picking up on someone being fearful of rejection. Yeah, some somebody here, Virgo, just don't believe. New booty on duty. What you mean? What you mean? What that booty do? That booty don't do nothing for you no more. Nothing. Okay? Virgo is telling somebody that, that booty, new, new booty on duty. That booty don't do nothing. This booty don't do nothing for you no more. That's what that booty don't do. What that mouth do? Talk shit. Sip wine. Get money. The fuck? Okay? Listen. For some of you all... You could, you're dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person wants to talk now. I feel like this person has gotten a dose of their own medicine. Whoever this individual is, they didn't appreciate your substance. Someone also could be opening up to you, expressing to you about some type of sex addiction. I'm also picking up on someone could also, uh, some of y'all could actually see this in your dream space. That someone could have, could be dealing with childhood issues or refusing to do the work, the shadow work required to deal with childhood issues around molestation. For some of you all, this could actually be you digging in the depths of the soul and truly healing. But I feel like this is thrusting you into your purpose. For some of you all, your counselors, your mediators, okay? For some of you all, you are literally the shero, the hero in some star seeds life that could be dealing with this. Because I am picking up on a lot of um a lot of childlike energy or working with children. Be careful with going into business with a male fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody is not, they're, they're not, somebody ain't got their fucking priorities straight. They ain't, they ain't got their shit together. I feel like spirit really wants you to do things or create this independently. I feel like you're, it's, it's, it's okay to delegate your task and be open to receiving help. But trust your intuition because some of y'all feel like you can't trust this motherfucker as far as you can throw him, okay? Us and you are walking away from a sexual relationship with a fire sign. That booty don't do nothing for you, honey. Listen, I'm about, I'm about the coins and you ain't never fucking got none, okay? You always, every time we go somewhere, I got to reach down in my purse. To pay your way and your homeboy's way. And sometimes your cousin's way. They don't never have to pay. Don't have no dogs. Hang around the bars trying to hang around the stars. Priorities fucked up, okay? You pulling a plug on the motherfucker in the month of December. You focusing on you. And you guys are literally receiving karmic blessings for doing so. You guys have a test to walk away. Let go, surrender. 
Stop trying to make some shit work that continue, continuously shows you that it doesn't work for you. It's taking from you. If it's not adding to you, it's taking from you. Be very careful how you invest your time, your peace, and your energy because you can't get none of that shit back. It's expensive. You understand me? Alright, so let's get some advice for my verticals. But be open to taking initiative. I think you all, you, you, you're getting intuitively, uh, you're getting an intuitively guided idea. Spirit is saying, start now. Don't wait till next year. Start today. Okay? Give me some advice. But my verticals, my cousins. December 21st is going to be very significant. For some of you all, the 29th, okay? For others of you, you're being open to receiving love, okay? Fuck the past. You ain't that no more. We no longer reside there. We moved and we became fucking nomads. We out. We out experiencing new motherfucking things, okay? We building shit. We creating our own damn realities around this motherfucker. For some of you all, the past is the past for a reason. It was there to teach you. It was there to assist you in your in your soul's growth as far as evolution and healing. But for some of you all, you're being called to surrender your expectation around a particular circumstance because I feel like this other this other individual has to be open to doing the work. For some of you all, this is about you letting go of shedding the old ways of the past, understanding areas in which you need to grow, acknowledging your uh, acknowledging your good, your bad, your ugly in relationships as well as within the damn self to understand the substance that you add to another so you know how to invest that damn energy, being open to growing because I feel like the overall result here is harmony. Peace within. If it don't bring me peace, I got to get the fuck out of here, Joe. You understand me? Alright, so y'all let me know how the fuck this resonates. Somebody, some of y'all, somebody's gonna come home to an empty ass house in the closet. Virgo's getting the fuck up out of here. We, we putting our Nikes on and running fast, bitch. We catching out. Alright, so this is my advice for you all. Virgo. Virgo.